Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here. Are you ready for the season seven finale of The Masked Singer? Who is going to win the Golden Mask Trophy? And yes, I did finally finish building my trophy. I think it looks great. It's a little bit smaller than uh, what they actually give them on stage, but I still kind of think it's cool. Anyway, before we get started breaking down all the clues and everything we know about the episode, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So we just got a brand new preview video, not on YouTube, only on Instagram. Have you noticed I've been only uploading like releases on Instagram like two days before and then the videos somehow make their way onto YouTube the day later? I don't know why they're doing that, but we do have a new preview video. Let's watch it together. Wednesday. Oh my God! The Masked Singer event you've all been waiting for. The big night is the finale. Nick's wearing that thing again, they said. Let's go! Firefly. Firefly. The Prince. The Prince! Or and the Prince Ringmaster. Day. I want to win this for my family. Who will oh. fall short? Who will take the crown? And most importantly... Who are you? Don't miss the Masked wow, Singer season finale. Cool. Followed by the... Oh, what was that at the end? They're, they're going all out for the finale. There is really nothing to pull out of that preview. I mean, we kind of already knew everything in there. We know that right now at the top, we have the Firefly. We have the Ringmaster and we have the Prince or the Prince Toad or the Toad. I know, there's like 17 different names you can call him. Bottom line is, it's a Toad. That's a Prince. So I guess the Prince, I don't know. You can call him whatever you want. Besides that, there have been no, when I say no, no other information being put out there about this finale. I know, it, it's kind of like a shot in the dark. Now keep in mind that up to this point, we already revealed who was under the mask of the top three, and you could check out those videos by clicking the links in the description of this video. Now you're probably saying to yourself, you haven't seen the Firefly in six weeks. You haven't seen the Ringmaster in three weeks. And I mean, you, you saw the Prince a week and a half ago, but you're probably saying, what were the clues that we had for these characters? And I figure today, let's go ahead and just kind of give you the highlight of those clues before we do dive into them. So many people have asked me, who do I think is going to win? Who do I think is under the masks? What's the order, so on and so forth. Once again, you can find out who I think these people are by clicking those links in the description. The order, look, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am awful guessing the order. I think maybe one season I got it right out of seven, but to me, it's not about the order, it's about who is under the mask. So for the sake of just giving you my order, let's go ahead and lay it out for you. I think the ringmaster is going to win it all. That's my honest opinion. When it comes down to the prince and the firefly, I really want the firefly to get third place because I don't like her drama on the show, but it keeps the show interesting. And there was no drama with the prince. So I'm assuming, just a guess, I'm assuming first place is going to ringmaster, second place, probably Firefly, and then third place, the prince. My other reasoning behind it is because we've seen some kind of preview photos and we've seen two photos for these girls and one for the prince, which tells me more than likely they performed twice and him once. I don't really know. That's, that's kind of like my, my mindset at the moment, though I do love him and you know, we already revealed who it is, but if you go on there, you can see you know, he's our kind of guy. Anyway, let's go ahead and break down some of these clues. I'm not going to go through every single clue. This video would be like 25 minutes long. I know you guys don't have time for that. So I just kind of highlighted all of the major clues, starting with episode one, because they did it this way. We have clues from every single episode, which is kind of cool, but I still find it so confusing on how they only have Team Good up there. You notice that, right? All the other teams, no one from those teams made it up there. Only Team Good. And if I move you out of the way, you can see the three slots for Team Good. I know, we could have just plopped them up there from uh, Episode 1. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with Episode 1, The Firefly. If you remember, during that episode, she got choked up. She had to leave the stage. But the big clues were the Apollo Theater, Tyler Perry, a Charger and Statue of Liberty. 
For her in episode two was a mega clue and it was Pharrell Williams because he was a mega part of her career. Episode three visual clues was Kanye, Holding Hands Dressing Room, Skate Park, Fire Alarm, Scissors, Red Dress, and TNT. Those were all the big clues for that character. Next, The Ringmaster, episode four. We saw Miley Cyrus. We saw Montana, Tic-Tac-Toe, Sweet Southern Liqueur Liquor. We saw a Garden State driver's license, and he said, she said to Nicole, it's nice seeing you again. Next was episode five, The Mega Clue. A guitar with a 90s pick was seen. Episode six, I kept this quote in here because it was kind of important. I'd never been a part of a group before and we tried our best to make it work, but I knew I wanted more, so I took a chance doing something completely different and it's been paying off for the last 10 years. Big clue right there. Visual clues, canvas, laughing emoji, NASA, Nashville. After that was The Prince, episode seven. We saw Mars, teddy bear, a diamond ring, and then $20.06, a.k.a. 2006. Big year for that gentleman. Next was the mega clue from episode eight. It was a luggage bag with a big P on it. And he said, I've been to many hotels all over the world, but this one has to be the wildest one yet. That is a big clue because that person was on a show that kind of stood up. After that was episode nine. The visual clues was Carnegie or Carnegie Hall, whatever you want to call it. We saw sheet music and a plane. Later, he did say he came from a small town and music was his first love. So guys, those are all of the big clues. Most of them will point you to who you think they are. Now, I do know that we didn't sit down and do the master list of clues. That takes a lot of time. So I'm thinking that maybe tomorrow we'll break that down. And as a side note, I don't know if you wanna make a video about this later on. If you do go on Instagram, their page has some behind the scenes videos of the judges that maybe didn't make it on air. And they are so funny. I, I, I maybe, maybe tomorrow I might make a video about it, but I, it is so funny. If you wanna go back, go ahead and check that out. Anyway, I wanna know, who do you think is going to win it all? Who do you think is under the masks? And what order? So let's do it this way. In the comment section, do one, two, and three. One being who's gonna win, three, so you know what I mean there, right? the character's name and who is under the mask. And then from there we'll compare because I think that maybe we all gonna get the same answer. Anyway, I'm Joey. Be sure to join me tomorrow at 7 p.m. for the Mask Singer pre-show live stream finale seven, season seven, five. I don't know, I'm trying to make it even longer. I just like goofing around like that. But if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up. And hey Fox, why do I still have you here? Could you please send me a real one? I like this, but it's gonna fall apart. Like literally the second I put this down, I had a super glue and it took me like 14 million days. It's barely even like together. So uh, anyway, Fox, just send me this. Anyway, I'm Joey, I'll see you later. Bye.